Welcome back to NTV News First Edition. It was on this date, 36 years ago today, that the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, died at his home in Graceland. Tens of thousands of Elvis Presley fans gathered at Graceland last night for the annual candlelight vigil to celebrate the life and legacy of the king of rock and roll. After the opening ceremony at the gates of Graceland, fans walked up the driveway to the meditation garden and back down, carrying a candle in quiet remembrance. The gates remain open until all who wish to participate in this procession have done so. That usually takes until the early morning hours of August 16th, the anniversary date of Elvis's passing. Well, fans in this province are remembering the king today, too. I spoke with well-known musician and music historian Lou Skinner about Elvis and the moment he learned Elvis had passed away. The musicians might have died, you know? So I went into the first convenience store I could find and bought the evening telegram. It was right on the front page. It made me sick. I ended up going home. I figure if Elvis had gone, that music could be gone. But that music God, <laughs> we're lost. Yeah. He had a unique voice. He put every inch of energy, every ounce of energy, into his songs. And it didn't matter if it was slow songs or fast songs. They all had that special sound. And then the stories about Elvis uh, being good to his parents and, and his grandparents and good to people who needed things, like it gave away Cadillacs, it gave away guitars, and it, it was like, I don't know, it was like a, a Newfoundland boy from out around the bay who was good at it, and even though he was the, the world star, to us he was just a buddy. Just God, it was great that we got him. You know, because he's going to help keep us going. And he did. And then later years, I got to work with uh, Scotty Moore and DJ Fontana down in uh, Nashville with Eddie Eastman. That was a dream come true. I mean, you were inspired. You listened to Elvis a lot. Oh, my what God. What were the parents saying? What were, your, what were the parents in the town saying about Elvis? Well, in the beginning, they thought he was crazy. He was, and he was taking us down, too. And then after a little while, when more airplay got on with the slower tunes, they all liked Elvis. I remember Mom loved blue suede shoes. I said, Mom, that's not Elvis, that's Carl Perkins. What's the difference? Elvis sings it, that's good enough. And they did, they did get into it. You know, they, they liked, I think what it was, maybe the rock and roll thing wouldn't the feature thing, was the fact that this man sounds so good. It got the parents too. Thank God, because we got money for guitars that way. <laughs> Do you think there will ever be another person like Elvis who's able to influence music the way he did? Well, I'm still waiting. I don't think so. What's your favorite Elvis song? Favorite Elvis song? Uh, Mystery Train. I got three here. Uh, Mystery Train, Blue Suede Shoes, and Are You Lonesome Tonight? I love those three numbers. They're good numbers. 1957. We're going to do a little pick of Mystery Train. And I do have an echo unit. Great Lou Skinner.